Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Charlotte and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this face with um, an almost full face of Glossier. I used two products that weren't Glossier or Glossier. But yeah, I liked, I like Glossier. I like their natural, like no makeup, makeup type look. And I'm just starting to get into makeup. Like learning how to do makeup is gonna be one of my quarantine goals. So this is actually the only makeup I own right now. I just wanted to start off with something easy and simple for me. So um, in the video, you can see that I'm applying it mainly with my hands. I have to go wash my hands now. I just like how it's very easy, very beginner friendly. If you're a beginner like me, then the Glossier will be good for you. And hopefully I wanna be doing more makeup videos in the future. I just need to go and buy makeup because <laughs> I don't own any. But yeah, maybe if you guys like know any good makeups, <laughs> if you guys have any recommendations of like good foundation and things for me to try, that would be nice. Leave it in the comments below because I don't own any proper foundation. I only own the Glossier Skin Tint and I want to get into makeup. So I like the natural type look, like, you know, my face, but better. Um, just because when I do wear like full makeup like with my friends if they want to do a face on me I can't recognize myself when I have a full face on it makes me feel weird So yeah, I like Light makeup stuff like that I'm just getting used to having the feeling of the makeup on my face and I like Glossier because it doesn't feel like makeup on my face It feels like cream or something. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this look. I did like the junk blush I know that it's not the best for round faces. It makes your face look rounder, but I think it's cute and the highlights and everything let me know what you guys think i'm a beginner so my technique i don't know if it's the best so if you see any issues with my technique comment down below on how i can improve because i'm a beginner but yeah if you like this video if you like glossier if you want to see more um makeup videos just let me know in the comments down below and um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys soon thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it okay let's let's get into how i did this face Okay, so this is my bare face without any makeup. I just finished doing my skincare routine and I'm going to start off with the Paula's Choice Shine Stopper Instant Matte Finish with Micro Sponge Technology as my primer. I'm only going to put that on my nose because my nose is the shiniest part of my face. I just don't like it when my nose looks too shiny. I forgot to buy a primer, so I need to buy a primer because I don't own any, but that's what I'm priming my nose with, at least. So I'm just patting it into my nose like so. That's my face, with just the nose primer. So next I'm going to be going in with the stretch concealer in the shade G3. I'm just going to be putting that underneath my eyes, um, on my forehead and on my upper lip because I don't like the hyper hyperpigmentation on my upper lip. Glossier has really good customer service. At first I ordered the concealer in G4 and the skin tint in G3, but I didn't like how the colors looked on me. I thought I looked too ashy, so I emailed the customer service to exchange it and they just sent me the new colours for free, which was really kind. So yeah, I'm just patting it into my skin, like so. That's my face, with just the concealer, and I'm going in with the Perfecting Skin Tint in the shade G2. It has a very watery consistency and it has very buildable coverage, you don't have to use as much as I used, but I just rub it all over my face like so and rub it in with my fingertips. G2 is the second darkest shade, the darkest shade is G1, so I don't know how it will work for girls darker than me, but um, since it's a skin tint, it doesn't have to be your exact match, it will go with your skin tone, it will blend in, so yeah, I'm using the shade G2. I forgot my nose, but yeah, I just rub it in with my fingertips, no brush because I feel like the warmth of my fingertips would help for a better blend, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so I just rub it all in my face. That's my face with just the skin tint. Next, I'm going in with the Wowder in the shade G1 to G3. They just have like a universal shade for the dark shades, but I find it works pretty well. And I'm just going in with my Morphe brush. It's from like a face set. And yeah, the Wowder is honestly one of my favorite products from Glossier along with their highlight. I love the Wilder. Just crisp. Crisp. I love it. 
it's just a nice powder i did about two coats of the powder i feel like you could just go out like if you wanted like a very very simple look you could just wear the powder and like mascara or something and go about your day and i will also have um, my glossy bff link in the description below if you want to get 10 percent off of your glossier order i would get a nice 10 dollar credit if you decide to order using my link but obviously no one is obligated to do that but yeah let's carry on so now i'm going in with the boy brow in the shade black i don't have any eyebrows and i don't like having thick eyebrows i just feel like it isn't me so i really like this product because it gives me a nice natural finish i just brush my eyebrows up keep brushing them up as you can see in the clip up 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 <laughs> and then i do a swoop to the side and i call it a day i just do one coat i just do that on both of my eyebrows next i'm going in with the cloud paint in the color storm i think it's the darkest shade of the blushes and it's just like a nice deep red i did the drunk blush look so i just put it on like the tip of my nose not the tip but like the top of the bridge i don't know i put it on my nose i just put it on my cheeks and on my nose and it's a nice deep red just a natural flush i really like the look so i did two coats of the drunk blush but yeah as you can see i decided i wanted some more so i just use i just blend it with my middle fingers and i just rub it from the sides of my cheek to the top of my nose as you can see there fantastic that's my face with the cloud paint next i'm going in with the haloscope in the shade topaz i like gold highlights on my face and i put it on the high points of my cheekbone the tip of my nose and um the part of my nose bridge that's in between my eyes nice natural highlight I love it. You can see it. You can see it right there. You can see it. It looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. If you're going to buy anything from Glossier, get the Haloscope and get the Wilder. Finally, I'm using the Lash Lick. This is a good lengthening mascara. It won't be extra. It will look longer, but in a natural way. Like, not in like the false eyelashes type way. And um, it's not clumpy at all. But um, it is. if you want um, more thickness, I would not recommend this mascara. But if you want length, it's a nice mascara. Finally, I'm going in with my Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. As you can see, it is almost empty. I struggled to get some product to put on my lips. But yeah, that's my finished look. I hope you guys like it. Precise, simple, good for every day. That's my glossy face. Gotta go wash my hands now. Goodbye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching the whole thing. It means a lot to me. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe for more quality content. I will be doing more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Goodbye. Yeah.